Okay, this is a demonstration of the modification I made to the DICE I Honda R4 Silverline unit to be able to use both full text for the iPod and XM in your factory installed XM radio car. I have a 2004 Honda Accord EXL. This should work with the 05s and the 06s as well, and perhaps even later models. I don't know, I haven't tried. You can see starting at my car. The unit does go straight to the DICE module at first. Of course, it paused. I don't know if anybody else would find that annoying. Turn the stereo to make the switch. I installed my switches down here in the not an ashtray unit. First, hold the reset button to disconnect power to your DICE. It is very important that you do this first to give it time to clear itself and reset, otherwise the switching won't work and you won't get anything out of your unit. Uh, whatever you choose to switch with, I set up a series of relays that works with uh, push on, push off, and then of course if I'm going to go to all that trouble, why not put a little LED in there too? So hold it for about 15-20 seconds at least. Uh, the DICE manual says that you need to hold it for 50 seconds if you do change the switch settings. But I've found that about 20 is good enough. What this does is it switches your dice from the dice mode through XM to regular plane mode through the CDC unit. That separates it from the XM data stream. Turn your stereo back on and you've got XM radio. As you can see, doing it through this ground signal wire it keeps maintains any memories or presets you've set in your XM unit. I'm going to deactivate my unit now. Again, you got to hold the button down. It's especially important to give it time when you switch from XM to your iPod. It needs a little bit more time to reset itself properly to work. Now, if you guys have any questions or want to know how to build a, a similar relay system that I did, um, I will post a schematic in the online form where I will post this video. And I will do my best to give you so you give you a hand with putting together your own system for your own vehicle. There you go, guys. They said it couldn't be done, and it is done for about $20 out of your pocket, if even less, depending on how much you spend on your switches. Have fun.